<laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? A super fly fat guy, eight five nine, coming at you again. I'm bringing a sleeveless cut off shirt. Well, it's not really cut off, but it's sleeveless. I'm bringing it back for fat news. <sighs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a uh, this is a video response from my main man, my good buddy, very good buddy. Uh, the fat man's celebrating a thousand subscribers, brother. You're gonna hit two thousand in no time. I promise you. You uh, everybody loves you. You're an awesome dude, and um, yeah, you you definitely deserve it. You definitely deserve a lot more than you have, but uh, you'll get there. I promise you. So he's having a thousand subscriber giveaway, and he wants to know your favorite weapon. Now, my favorite weapon would be my Glock. Come on. Would be my Glock normally. But um, I, wanted to, I wanted to show this again. This is a little different. You know, a Glock's like obviously. This thing, however, it looks like a lawnmower blade, but it's an actual machete that my mom bought on uh, Bud K like 20 years ago probably. I don't know how I ended up with it. I probably begged her for it until she gave it to me. <laughs> but anyway, man, if this thing could talk, like, it's it's seen a lot of stuff. It's been through a lot of different memories of mine. And I um, absolutely love it. The handle had, like, plastic scales on it and, like, this cord is wrapped around it. It fell off over time just abusing it. That's all I've ever done to this thing was abuse it. And, um... I ended up duct taping it for a long time, and then it started to come off over use and just abuse. So, uh, I don't know, several years ago, I put the scales back on it, and I masking taped it, and then I put a balloon over a real big balloon, and stretched it over it, and then uh, and then masking taped it again because it had all that glue from the duct tape all over it, and it um, I, would, I didn't want to duct tape, or masking tape down here, so I put a balloon over it. It's actually poking through the end there now, but um, man, this thing... It's been out to camp a hundred times. It's been out camping in general a bunch of times. Uh, it's been sword. I don't know if you can. You probably can't see the edge because this camp. Well, uh, maybe I don't know. Anyway, there's there's a ton of chips in it, and um, and just bang marks from where like sword fighting with other swords and shit like it, just dumb stuff. But. It's been through a lot of haunted places. Uh, when I was younger, I'm scared to death of haunted places now, um, and I'll tell you why. Well, I've always been kind of scared of, like, you know, haunted stuff. Um, but when I was younger, like 10, 15 years ago, I would, me and, and friends would go to haunted places. Um, local legends in the area that, you know, were considered haunted or said to be haunted and stuff like that. Um, this has been the Waverly Hills Hospital. I believe it's in Lexington, but it could be in Louisville. I always get those two mixed up, but it's down there somewhere. If you don't know what um, Waverly Hills is, definitely YouTube it because it's a scary place. Now it's like a it's a tourist attraction. Like they are not a tour, but but like they do tours of the place um, and actually like sell you know overnight uh, stays and shit like that. But I mean, it really is a haunted place. It's it's an old tuberculosis hospital. And a lot of people died there back in, I guess, the 40s or something. I don't know. But a lot of people died back then and in that place. It's terrifying. I never did go in, but this was with me. I was, I was too scared to go in. I ain't going to lie to you. It's also been inside and all through the first floor of a place in Maysville, Kentucky, called Hayeswood Hospital. Now, from, I think the last time I heard they tore that place down, but that's another place. If you're really interested in haunted stuff... YouTube Hayeswood Hospital in Maysville, Kentucky. It's just Mays, M-A-Y-S, Ville. Um, it's a scary joint, dude. Super scary. And I had this in my hand the whole time walking through there. This thing has been with me for years. It sits, it sits at the bottom of my bed. And um, I just love this thing. It's it's my favorite weapon. I just love it, dude. I just, I don't know. It's it's like a, just a thick piece of steel. That's uh, sharpened on one side. It's a hollow grind, and um, it's it's dull. Well, it's not super dull, but it's dull. And uh, I just I love it, dude. I, it's my favorite weapon by far. So definitely go check out the Fat Man. Awesome dude. He's my oh man, he's my homie. 
if you don't know who he is, you're crazy. You definitely need to go check him out. Uh, easily one of the best people on YouTube, by far, um, bar none. Easily one of the best people on YouTube. One of the funniest, one of the coolest, one of the nicest. You, you, you'll you be hard-pressed to find a nicer person than the fat man. So definitely go check him out. He's a kick-ass dude. So, brother, congratulations on your uh, thousand subscribers. And I wish you many, 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 many more, brother. Everybody, take her easy.